Watching this latest episode of Cooking with Chris. Today's episode is going to be a very simple and easy to do baked haddock with mushrooms and Parmesan cheese. Uh, it's a very tasty one. If you like haddock like I do, yeah, you should really like this and try it out. So, let's get cooking. Okay, everybody, in this first step of the recipe, what we're going to do is we're going to take our four teaspoons, uh, uh, tablespoons of butter, which is ha pretty much half a stick, and we are going to melt it in a large pan. Uh, what we'll do after it's all melted is we'll add our next set of ingredients, so let's keep going. Okay, now that the butter is all melted, what we're going to do is put it down to a medium heat, and then we're going to add our... Um, I'm using 6 ounces of mushrooms because I don't have a lot of fish, but it's usually 12 ounces of mushrooms, uh, 2 tablespoons of minced onions, and 2 teaspoons of uh, garlic powder. Uh, I, can, I will put the ingredients for the, if you want to use fresh ingredients for this, but this is a little bit easier. Then what we're going to do is we're going to just dump all this in. And what we're going to do is mix it up until it is all the ingredients are nice and tender. And then we'll move on. Okay, once your mushrooms are done, what we're going to do is add the next ingredient, which is three um, teaspoons of lemon juice. And we're going to add that right into the mixture. And then just nice and easily stir it around. What that will do is give it a nice, sweet, sour taste. And then what we'll do is we'll prepare our fish next. Okay, guys. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to take our fish, put it in our baking dish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our little mushroom mixture here. And we're going to put that over the fish. Not to be neat about it. Try to get a little bit on everything. Okay. Once that's done, what we're going to do is sprinkle it with some of the breadcrumbs. And then we're going to do our Parmesan cheese. It doesn't give exact amounts, so use however much you want on this part of it. If you like a lot of cheese, use a lot. If you don't, eh, it doesn't matter. It'll be up to you. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a couple twists of salt. Pepper. I like the pepper. And some parsley flakes. Give it that nice green color. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this in the uh, oven at 350 degrees. And for bake about a half hour. So what we'll do is we'll get it in the oven. Okay, everybody. So here we got the final product. Looks nice and it looks nice and tasty. What I'm gonna do is let it cool a little bit, then I'll serve it up and give it a try. Okay, everybody. So here's the final product. Looks very nice. Cheese is browned. It doesn't melt because it's 
Parmesan doesn't melt. But let's take a little piece off here and try it. You can also see how it's nice and white. Means it's done. You can tell, taste the garlic and taste the pepper because I put a lot in. The fish flakes nicely, so I'd say I'd give this one a thumbs up. And I'll say we're done. Thank you for watching this episode of Cooking with Chris. I hope you've enjoyed it. Also, uh, this recipe is very easy, very simple, and you can also use either fresh or dry ingredients for it. So, if you did like it, give me a comment down below, thumbs up, and also a comment. Um, with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and keep on cooking!